Okay, so this is just a quick tip. If you have an application that is locked up and is not responding to you, clicking on the close button. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use Audacity and I'm gonna use this file to break it. So I'm just gonna double click on this. And as you can see, Audacity is unresponsive. So I'm just gonna open up a terminal quickly. And I'm just going to grep for Audacity's process. So PSAUX, pipe that into grep and we're looking for audacity and there we go so we can see the process over here now the utility that we're going to use to kill this application is called xkill and we can run it from this terminal here so if we just type in xkill and hit enter you can see that our cursor has changed now this cursor will kill any application that you click on so if we just click on audacity now you can see it disappears. So let's just have a look for its process ID now. And as you can see, it's gone. Now, alternatively, what you could do to launch Xkill, as I'm on Ubuntu, I can open up a run command dialog box by holding Alt and pressing F2, and then just type in the name of the application I want to run, which is Xkill, and click on the icon, and it will run Xkill for us. So I'm just gonna open up Audacity again, and as you can see, it's unresponsive. So Alt F2, X kill, it's already entered there. Click on it, and there we go. Now what X kill is actually doing is it's closing your unresponsive application's connection to your X server. Now when this happens, most applications will shut themselves down, but there are some applications that totally ignore this and don't shut themselves down. So in those circumstances, you're going to have to use something like system monitor or find the process ID and kill it from your terminal. So that's just a quick tip on how to deal with unresponsive GUI applications. And I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.